Good morning, welcome to the channel and welcome to the Lake District. Today we're in a very frosty Kentmere and we're not doing the Kentmere round. We're going to do a couple of Burkitts, Cocklaw Fell and Hollow Moor and then from there we're going to go head up to Kentmere Reservoir so up one side of the River Kent and then back down the other. It's very grey at the moment, the forecast is for it to, to lift a bit but I don't know, I'm not holding out much hope again. We'll see how we get on. So let's take a quick look at today's route. We've climbed out of Kentmere and uh, I don't know if you can see the church behind us where we're parked. Blooming out the place is heaving. I mean there's only enough space for, I don't know, about 10 cars if that. I got here quarter to eight and I got the last space and there's still people rolling up the valley. So uh, it's going to be a bit, uh, bit of a nightmare for them I think. So we're on to the bridle way climbing around the hillside now and the, the first thing we're going to get to is Skeggles Water before we head up to our first hill, so we'll carry on up this, uh, up this bridle way, and we'll see you in a bit. onto the open hillside and as you can see it's a bit grey so I don't know how much footage I'm going to get today hopefully there'll be enough to put together to show you something by the end of it so and we carry on into the mist Here we are then at Skeggles Water and it's completely frozen over. So I'm not doing much filming as you can probably see it's not really worth it. Can't see a thing and I think that's going to be the way for the rest of the day. So from here we skirt round the town and up to Cocklaw Fell. So we'll probably see you when we get up there. Bye for now. So we're at the summit and it's grim. But it's quiet, which I can cope with all day long. We go from here to Hollow Moor. And what I've only realised recently about a lot of these uh, different categories of hills that I'm doing, especially in the Far Eastern and Southern Fells, they're also Wainwright outlying fells. 
which this and hollow mower I believe both fall into that category so I'm going to have to go through my records and see which ones of them I need to do which ones I've done so anyway we'll crack on into the mist bye for now we're at the top of the second and final summit of the day and there's a bit of hazy sun trying to break through so we might get some views although from here we're dropping down uh, we drop down into the into the valley and then we just uh, sort of do a an alternative Kentmere horseshoe up to the reservoir on this bank and back down the far bank back to the car but hopefully we might uh, we might get a view or two when we get up to Kentmere as well it'd be nice to be able to see up to Kentmere Pike uh, that stretch round uh, Skeggles water oh, for a minute, turned into one of my pathless boggy sections I'm, I'm glad it was frozen I think that must have been sort of part of the, the town at one time it's just got silted up and overgrown but it was a bit uh, a bit dicey coming over there but uh, we're not to worry we, we made it so we're just going to have our coffee now and drop down into the valley and up to Kentmere Reservoir and we'll have, we'll have lunch when we go up there Charlie's had his chew so we'll, we'll have our coffee So there's the sun doing its best to break through. We're on the boat that leads down to Brockstones. We've got a short little section on the road there. Before we head up the valley, a bit of an icy bit here. Before we head up the valley to Kempmere Reservoir. And it's still lovely and peaceful. We've met uh, two mountain bikers and we've heard some people in the distance but not seen them. So that suits us fine. Uh, the sun failed in its attempts to break through and uh, all the fells around us now are clagged in again. But we've got a decent view down this uh, down this track. So We'll carry on and we'll see you in a bit. Some fell ponies now. I wonder what Charlie will make of them. Or what they'll make of Charlie. Nothing probably. Just come through that gate past the ponies and we're getting a little bit of a view up the Kent Valley where we're heading to the reservoir which will be in that little bit of a bowl near the top and over to the left in the clag that you can't see is my, my favourite triplet of, uh, of hills Yoke, Hill Bell and Frosic. It's a shame you can't see them I think they're a delightful set of three hills. So anyway we'll carry on down this path and eventually veer off to the right and head up the valley. Looking back up the valley you can see where we've been now. Hollow Moor there. Shame it wasn't like that when we were up there. But if we spin round and look through the trees and up, up the valley where we're heading the higher fells are still all clagged in. But uh, Kept me a reservoir is, is cloud free at the moment, so we'll get up there and have our lunch up there. I know we're not on the high fells and there is quite a bit of cloud around, but the scenery is still stunning. It's just absolutely gorgeous. With the added bonus of no people. So, yeah, another delightful day 
absolutely loving it. Anyway, we'll carry on up to the reservoir. We're approaching what's marked as Tung House on the map. And it says it's a ruin. Well, that doesn't look very ruined to me. And if we just, if we come round here, judging by the state of all these ewes, that fella's been having a good time. <laughs> so anyway, onwards up the track to the reservoir and lunch. And look at that, fantastic. My three favourite hills are coming into view. Just look at this place now, it's absolutely stunning. Looking up there to Yoke, Ilbel, Frosic, and I can just make out the large cairn on top of Thornthwaite Crag. And then if we look right round this side, you just see Kentmere Pike up there. And it's absolutely glorious now. And there's the old quarry workings. And it's absolutely stunning now. Glorious day. We've got the place to ourselves. Just how we like it. So on up to the the lunch stop. So we'll see you in a bit. We're just arriving at Kentmere Reservoir where we're going to stop for our lunch but just look at this view just look at it up there to Ilbel, Frosic, Thornthwaite Crag I'm not sure what that is at the head of, uh, of Kentmere I'll have to put it on is it Ilbel? I don't know and then that's looking up Nanbield Pass and then there's just a bit of wispy cloud rolled over Kentmere Pike. And then looking back our return route down there. But it's just absolutely glorious and the place to ourselves. So we're going to stop for lunch. So we'll see you in a bit. So just before we actually tuck into our butties, I just had to show you this. What more could you want for a view while you're having your lunch? It is absolutely stunning. And as I've said before, the place to ourselves. All we can hear is the trickling of the streams. Just love it. Right, butty time. Well, it's time for butties. Oh, and what a glorious day it's turned into. It's absolutely stunning here. I've never been here before. I've been up on all the, 
all the hills around. Obviously I've done the, the Kentmere horseshoe, but I've never been here before. It's absolutely stunning. It just shows you, you, you don't have to be on, on tops of the hills to get uh, the best out of the scenery. This is, it's what, if we'd have come straight here, it'd have been three miles from Kentmere. And this, there's not a soul around. Everybody else will be up, up on the fells, won't they? Uh, I just, I can't say any more about it. It's just absolutely glorious. Charlie's tucking, oh, Charlie's finished. Let alone tucking in. That didn't take long, Charlie. So he'll probably be off for a dig or something now. So now I'm gonna have my butties and the coffee. I'm, I'm in no rush to leave here at all. <laughs> I just, I just can't get over it. I just cannot get over this. It's, it's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. You want to get here. <laughs> anyway, butty time. See you in a bit. We've had lunch and now we're heading off back down the track, back to Kentmere. I know oh, that was just stunning there. I could have stayed there for ages. And it's coming cold now as well. Just checked thermometer and it says zero, but I don't know, it feels a lot colder. That feels like it's the colder it's been all day so far. So I think we've got about two and a half miles back to the car. And I think the, the track's fairly decent all the way. So it shouldn't take us too long. And be a, a welcome beer when we get home, I think. Anyway, we'll carry plodding on and we'll see you in a bit. We're on the tarmac lane heading back into Kentmere, so I'm going to sign off. Oh, we've had a, a great day, loved it again. Two walkers, two mountain bikers, and that's it. Tell people you're going for a walk from Kentmere and you've only seen four people all day long and they won't believe you. So, anyway, I was hoping to be shooting in 4K by now. I was due a phone upgrade, so I ordered a an iPhone 14, eight weeks ago now, and it's not here. So you'll have to make do with what I've got for now, but hopefully sooner rather than later, I'll be uploading in 4K. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do the liking, subscribing, hitting the notification bell, sharing, commenting, all that malarkey. And hopefully, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.